Welcome, this is Dr. Clay Hearn with Applied CAX, and today we will discuss techniques to help with post-processing data in STAR CCM+. Thanks for joining us on our monthly short video series over tips and tricks with STAR CCM+. In this episode, we will discuss the use of screenplay, as shown here in this example, for producing animations and making your results come to life. This is a great technique to use for presentations to provide a full overview and tell a story with your simulation. And besides all that, it can be fun to put together and let you become a director for a while. Here we'll start off with a model and star of a boiler. And we first want to start off with a scene that has all the displayers predefined that we'd like to have in our animation. The first thing we'll do is head to our navigation pane and under tools, find the screenplay node to create a new screenplay. Here we'll choose our existing scene a screenplay editor pops up at the bottom of the screen. The first thing we want to do is zoom in at the bottom of the boiler. We grab our view node from our scene attributes and add that to the screenplay editor. Here we can define the beginning and end positions of the camera using predefined scene position views. Next we want to add rotation of the boiler, which requires us to create a new position transform that is located at the center of the main furnace. We then apply this transform to all the displayers in our scene. Once that transform is defined, we can add it to our screenplay editor. And here we'll actually place it on a different track so that we have a little bit of an overlap between the two actions. Again, this action, there is a beginning and end node. On the end node, we want to define a 90 degree rotation. We can now drag our time cursor to get a quick preview of the animation. Next thing, we want to fade out the displayer scene on the furnace walls and fade in the two streamlines of the fuel flow and air. To do this, we'll drag the opacity values of each of these items into the screenplay editor and set the positions and appropriate end values for each of those items. As I've been working through the screenplay, you should notice by now there are a number of values highlighted in yellow in the properties window as we select different items in our navigation pane. The yellow highlight signifies that these are all items that can be added to the screenplay editor for different animation actions. Lastly, we want to animate the streamlines themselves. The animation properties for the streamlines are defined under the displayer nodes. But we want to bring in the scene animation node from the attributes window and set the position within our screenplay editor of how long we want the animation to last. We also set the end values to signify how many times we want to loop through that animation. Here we can drag our time cursor and get another quick preview. And lastly, to get a full preview, we drag our time cursor back and hit our play button and run through the animation that we have set up. To record our animation, we hit the record button and we can type in our file name, set our resolution and frame rate and hit save. And here's our final animation playthrough saved out as an AVI. And for additional information on building your own screenplay, hit F1 and star to open up the help file and look under post processing to find full documentation. In addition, the tutorials in star have a very good walkthrough of constructing this screenplay image shown on the right of vehicle aerodynamics. And of course, if you need more information, there are a number of articles on the Siemens Support website. Thank you for your time. Please look us up on AppliedCAX.com for more tips on STAR and other CAE products.